In this video, we're going to look at solving systems of equations by graphing. So here we're given our system of equations, uh, 4x minus 3y equals 12, and 3x plus 4y equals negative 16. Uh, for the first one, it looks like it's going to be nice if I just find the intercepts. So I'm actually just going to find the intercepts for that top equation. Um, if I'm going to find the x-intercept, that means I'm going to plug in 0 for y. And that would give me 4x equals 12, so I get x equals 3, so it's the root of 3, 0. And then to find the y-intercept, I'll plug in 0 for x, so that would be negative 3y equals 12, and y equals negative 4, the order of 4, negative 4, 0. I'm uh, sorry, 0, negative 4. Um, so 3, 0 would be over 3, dot there, and 0, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be down here. And I'm going to do the best I can to connect these lines because it's very important here that I'm relatively accurate because I have to see where this is going to intersect with another line. So I'm going to really, really do the best I can here. All right, hopefully that is a straight enough line. For the second equation, I am not going to use the intercepts because I know that I'm going to end up with a fraction for my x-intercept. So instead, I'm going to actually rewrite this one in uh, slope-intercept form. So first, I'll take away 3x from both sides. That would leave me with 4y equals negative 3x minus 16. Then I'll divide everything by 4. That would be y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 4. Okay, so for this one, I have a y-intercept of negative 4, 1, 2, 3. Hey, that's where the other graph was. Uh, let's just graph this line, although we do know this, the answer now to our uh, question here. The slope is negative 3 fourths. Uh, normally, I would go down, but I can't go down because there's no more down to go. I don't have enough graph. So instead of considering this to be negative 3 over 4, I'm going to consider it to be 3 over negative 4. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I can maybe do that again. I'm not sure I'm going to really go over 4, but we only need two points. So I'm going to do the best I can. And now we can see that these two lines intersect at the y-intercept. And so the solution to this system would be 0, negative 4. We could verify that by plugging it into both and making sure that we end up with 0, negative 4, that that really does hold. Um, if we ended up with the wrong solution, then it should make a false statement in either one or both of the equations. In our second graph, we're given a function notation for our linear equations. Uh, this, because they're in function notation, that's great because now I have the slope and the y-intercept. So here I have a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 3, so that's 0, 3, up 3. And then the slope of 2 is telling me go up 2 to the right 1. Up 2 to the right 1. I might graph a few more points because, again, I want this to be as exact as possible. Down 2 and to the left 1. Um, because a slope of 2 is written as 2 over 1, or that could be negative 2 over negative 1 since negative over negative is positive. Go down 2 into the left 1. Down 2 into the left 1. Hopefully one of these points is it because uh, and hard to get it exact if not, which is one of the disadvantages to graphing. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen. It I might be that my graph isn't perfect and then it's hard to see where the lines intersect. It could be that the lines don't intersect in the space that I'm given, um, which can make this exceedingly difficult. If there are decimals and it's not exactly on one of these nice points, it could also be hard to read. So graphing is not the greatest method, but it is a nice method to see, you know, to get the visual representation. Okay, here we have a slope of negative 1. I can consider that slope of negative 1 to either be negative 1 over 1 or 1 over negative 1. And my y-intercept is 6. So I'm going to start here and go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now I'm going to go down 1 into the right 1, down 1 into the right 1, down 1 into the right 1. I get a sense of this line and I found the solution so I can stop there. These two lines intersect at, it appears to be 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we found the solution to this system. 